voters decide after big losses on Super Tuesday. Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley stepping out of the race. Yeah, former President Donald Trump winning 14 states, including Massachusetts, while Haley secured Vermont. This morning, she made her official announcement in South Carolina. Just last week, my mother, a first-generation immigrant, got to vote for her daughter for president. Only in America. I am filled with the gratitude for the outpouring of support we've received from all across our great country. But the time has now come to suspend my campaign. I said I so a whole new picture here today. Yeah, absolutely. And with Haley out of the race, President Biden, former President Trump, well, obviously trying to win over her supporters. WBZ political analyst John Keller has more now on the two candidates opposing approaches. We must turn away from the darkness of hatred and division. But who will Haley voters turn to now that she's out? It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. And I hope he does that. Don't hold your breath waiting for sweet talk. In his statement on Haley's withdrawal, Trump writes, I invite all of the Haley supporters to join the greatest movement in the history of our nation. But he adds, much of her money came from radical left Democrats, as did many of her voters. Donald Trump was never, is never going to engage in the kind of political rituals of winners and losers. An attitude Joe Biden tries to capitalize on in his statement, quote, Donald Trump made it clear he doesn't want Nikki Haley's supporters. I want to be clear. There is a place for them in my campaign. It's a contrast of styles and strategies. Biden, the inclusive gentleman versus Trump, the dismissive tough guy. Joe Biden is going to try to make 2024 a choice election, not a referendum election. Look at the alternative. Do you really want four more years of that? But while Biden will have to revive bad memories of Trump's term, Trump can simply point to the not so friendly price tags for food and housing. Nikki Haley has said, hey, the world's on fire. Hey, our economy's a mess. Those Haley voters bought that. Now it's for them, it's okay, the world's on fire and our economy's a mess. Who's going to fix it, Biden or Trump? All right, John, so large numbers of Haley voters are, you know, so-called never Trumpers. They said they're either going to yeah. vote for Joe Biden or stay home. So can Biden capitalize on that? Well, he better yeah. if he wants to compete. That's huge for Biden. He's the, he, that campaign's going to spend millions of dollars making sure that every person who ever winced at something Donald Trump said or did recalls why that happened. But, you know, is that going to be enough? Biden has some weaknesses of his home, if, if you hadn't noticed. Yeah. Uh, and uh, every time people look at high prices at the supermarket or at a restaurant, uh, they may be reminded of some things they don't like mm -hmm. about him. So it's going to be a, a dog fight, and that's uh, uh, perhaps unkind to dogs. I don't even <laughs> think dogs are going to fight the way these two it's are. It's going to be a rough one. And since it's a repeat, some people might stay home, which is, I'm sure, a risk for both candidates. I'm betting they don't. I'm betting it's yeah. a huge turnout, but we'll see. Interesting. Your choice at, at our local coffee joint. All right. I'll get your large regular. All right, John Keller, <laughs> thanks.